Why is depression common during the holiday season? Watch this. This is Eric for Tarot Talks. You have questions, I have answers. Be sure you save, share, like, and follow. Comment below. My videos are here to help you with your mental health, your spiritual health, and your overall well-being. If you would like to book a session with me, comment BQH, and I'd be more than happy to work with you on a one-on-one. -on -one. Greetings and salutations, dear one. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, and today's color is yellow. This color represents intellect, deep thought, and the element of air, and today is a very magical day. Let's tap into the wisdom of today's message for you. This reading is very integrated into the holiday season, especially right now. I'm picking up that you might be feeling pulled in many different places, away from yourself, away from tending to your own needs because you are too busy working or catering to other people or doing what will help you generate an income to stabilize your future. Because that's what we do here on Earth, right? We have to work to live on a planet that we were born on. This is a time where you are seeking information, you are seeking knowledge, you are seeking light. But really, it's not that you are seeking light and knowledge, but you are seeking warmth surrounding you on a field loved you want to feel full but ultimately the reason why you see a lot of depression happening during this time of season awakened mind is because most people are taken outside of themselves so if you feel like you are not fully able to be present for yourself and you are feeling taken away from your own emotions or you feel distraught or sorrow filled or even empty. Number one, the whole collective is going through a huge transition, not to mention you're also feeling the purging of the very end of the year. We're also right about to start a winter solstice, so another season is changing, so we are losing another season, gaining another one. This is a constant cycle of ebb and flow. We do have some conjunctions happening, we have some squaring, and we also have some trines happening this whole entire week. So you might be feeling more challenged, you might be feeling more introspective. A lot of the past is also going to be resurfacing, and regardless of what the past is coming to tell you, no matter what, the past isn't going to change just because it's surfacing itself again. You can't fix it. The past will always be the past. You have to keep moving forward. If the past comes back to you, it is coming back to you to teach you a lesson that you have not quite learned just yet. You keep cycling the same cycle over and over. Well, now is a cycle where the past is now coming back to you to remind you of the lessons you have not learned or to remind you of the lessons you have learned and how far you have come so you do not go backwards yet again. These three cards are also telling me that you need to come into your space. Coincidentally, you do have the sacred space following the awakened mind card, which means you need to spend more time with yourself. I'm not saying deprive yourself of nature or the sunshine or the natural elements. By all means, please immerse yourself with the sun as much as you can, be out in nature as much as you can. But ultimately, this is a call for you to be with yourself, with your thoughts, with your mind, with your spirit. If you are used to constantly being chatty or seeking approval from other people or if you are not a solitary mind person now is the time for you to begin exercising this practice within your own lifestyle and your own reality you are the one that is living for you you breathe for you you love for you you eat for you you sleep for you you do it all you do it all you do it all for you so now is the time where you still do for you the part of you that is being neglected and denied needs to come out it needs to shine you need to represent yourself again and be in your light. This is a message I'm channeling to tell you. You need to come back to you again. You need to be more focused on what it is that you truly desire. If you're seeking companionship, you need to ask yourself why you truly want that companionship. Do you want this companionship for monetary reasons? Do you want it for love reasons? Do you want it to fill a void? Are you avoiding something? Are you filling a void to avoid something? I keep hearing that. Wish granted, you've been asking for something, you're gonna get it. I don't know if you're gonna want it once you do get it, but just be aware that everything that you've been asking for, it is coming to you, just be prepared. Overall card is expect an unexpected surprise. So you have wish granted followed by 
an unexpected surprise. This is telling you that what you've been asking for, you are about to receive. If you've been asking for a relationship, if you've been asking for a new career change, if you've been asking for a new home, a new car, new clients, new beginnings, everything that you have been requesting is now coming to you. Be prepared to receive it the next month that is coming of January 2024. This message is coming to tell you that everything that you have been asking for is coming to you, but it is coming to you in the beginning of next year because you are going to be beginning your new year with a new beginning. If you start your new beginnings at the very end of this year, you're going to be trailing in 2023 into 2024 and you want to have a clean new entrance. I feel like this cookie cutter vibe, almost like you're peeling off a sticker and putting it into a new sticker book. This is like a new beginning, a new chapter, a new, you're like turning over a new leaf almost. So you have to ensure that all of what you're bringing into yourself for this new year of 2024, you allow it to flow into 2024 and don't rush it or try to push it during the ending of this year. If you find that you're repeating the same cycle over and over and over again, this is also a time for you to take a step back and ask yourself why you're repeating these cycles, why you're repeating these patterns. It's very important that you practice self-awareness. Now is the time where you really need to do the work. If you're running from yourself, running from yourself and running from doing the work, that work is still going to be there. It's not going to just magically disappear. It's part of what makes you you. And if you do not unravel that part of you, you're not going to grow. You need to explore all parts of you fearlessly. There's nothing to be afraid of anyway. What is it that you are truly afraid of? This brings us back to depression, loneliness, lack, fear mindset, scarcity mindset. Everything that has to do with you not wanting to do something, if it has to do with fear, you're ultimately going to be operating from a lack mindset. That. Your carousel card is the no rejection is redirection card and I was not satisfied with that card so I pulled another one and I received the inner wisdom card. These cards are telling me that you need to be more balanced, you need to be more fluid with yourself and you need to be more abundant in your mindset. If you are receiving no or waiting or if you are feeling disregarded this is your own doing and it is time that you come to terms with the fact that you are the one that is making your reality happen. And if you didn't know that, this is your sign that you're making it happen. Hi, you're welcome. Inner wisdom. You have the awakened mind, inner wisdom. You have inner wisdom, awakened mind, sacred space. You have the androgynous card with the divine feminine. Androgynous card is an integration of masculine feminine energies all in one, but it's jumbled. There, there's a lot that's going on within you that you need to organize. And I, I feel that you just don't want to put in the effort. You just don't want to do it because it's either too messy or it's going to take too much out of you. But if you know it's going to take you two to three hours to do it, just do it and get it over with. What you're scared of being sloppy by yourself, get yourself a box of tissues and boohoo it away. But grow from it. Grow from light. If you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're not evolving. If you're not evolving, you're going to keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And if you like what you're doing and you love repeating what you're doing, then by all means, good job. I'm cheering you on and I'm holding space for you. But if you choose to evolve and you choose to want to grow and you choose to want to learn and you choose to want to do the work and you don't know where to start, hi, I'm here for you. I can literally help you. And I want to help you. That's the best part of it. See, along your journey, you're going to find there's going to be challenges. Yes, challenges are only presented to you if you create them. I understand that. I'm very fully aware that thought creates, but this is your reality. And if you are putting those challenges upon yourself, whether it's before you go to work, during work, after work, between the weekends, when you want to do a project and you're just not doing it, or if you want to do something, but you just can't get yourself to do it, the only person who's putting those limits on yourself is you. If you don't know what you love to do, it's time for you to start discovering that for yourself. Shame who created the concept of shame to begin with and why do you subscribe to that fear-based mindset? You need to love who you are in all capacities. Love what you do in all capacities and just shine. Do what you love. You came to experience this experience whether you identify as a human or not. Who cares? Just come dance and have fun. This is a party. It's time for you to open the door and go through it. Explore your inner wisdom. Explore your inner light. You are here to be whole and you are also here to learn how to be whole. That's the beauty of it all. If you find that you're feeling less than during this holiday season, if you feel like you just don't feel counted on, you need to ask yourself why you feel this way. And you need to really get down to it and ask yourself why. But I need you to know that at the very end of that why, at the bottom of that box that has that why, when you pull it out, I need you to know that regardless of all of that, you matter. You are sacred. You are special. And you are loved. You know that you are complete inside. If 
I am you and you are me and I love me, that means you love you, that means I love you and you love me, that means we are one in this, you are not alone. You need to trust in the power of you, trust in divine guidance, and trust in knowing that everything will always work perfectly for you. Everything will always work perfectly for you. You are always at the right place at the right time. You are a magnet for all that is good. And you are a magnet for all that is light. I love you, dear one. Till tomorrow. Keep shining your light. You got this.